of the Merlinomicon, and you get the same 20% CDR. I think the nice thing, uh-oh, here we go. Gang on to help her now, catch on the top side. Oh, there's the knockup. Ult is popped, they're gonna try and kill him. He will go down. Red buff will take him out, burn him. Maokai's teleporting, waiting uh -oh, to see that's in the Space bottom lane. Actually is, Max actually is going to get knocked out by Soul right there. Helper on the outside already TPing down. Good equalizer across three. Soul getting low on the outside, and Coco just going to flash to pursue Sasin into the choke. So two for none for Spenu. CJ is starting to really hit their stride. Space oh boy. going to get knocked up. There's the on the hunt. He's all alone, headbutted back. What can he do here? He's putting down the damage. Nuclear going to sidestep the Phosphorus Bomb. Space going to flash. Grayseeker hits him, and that's it. Chilling spike. Very <laughs> strange for Space. Okay, there's the Equalizer just to push people off. Now, Sven is going to respond with an all-in space in the front line already. And there we go. Janna goes down immediately. No Monsoon used. So that's going to be a disengage from CJ. Hits that power, chop, uh, that power spike early. His catch will take this last out of turret. The question I was actually going to ask you, will we see an engage? We do there see we an go. engage. Trick with the knockup, and here we go. Rumble, Equalizer cuts off Sivir in the back line. There's a knockup from Secret, and Soul. He's still got his ult on. Nobody really hurt. Unbreakable Will goes down, though. Here comes the TP. Where, oh, where is it? Nope. From, oh, <laughs> Helper. I'm just going to die. I thought I heard a TP. I are not really feasible. And the risk of the pick is the burst damage is coming from Jace. If it's flashed away from, because of course you can flash away from the two disguise Q damage, or if it's turned around, it's going to be a problem. Speaking of a turnaround. And here's Trick. He gets knocked up. He's all by himself. And now Soul finds his way onto the back line. They lock down Max. Can they finish it up? No, Soul just going to get out of there. Sasen very low after the equalizer in that bottleneck. Yeah, CJ has to get a good position on that to get the poke down early. And we're up. Coco getting caught out. That is huge. And he has the Hex Drinker up, but it's not going to be enough. Soul is able to escape from that all in. And now Trick will fall in the back line. Flash forward from Whoa. Nuclear. He gets a crit. Takes down the Janna for the double. Sasin still chasing. Can Sasin go through with this? He's not committing with his E quite yet. Shield up onto Sasin, but they are not going to push this any further. So let's just uh, twiddle our thumbs, because unfortunately Spenu just they're not there, Monty. They're not there in that development. We've seen a lot of things, but we haven't seen the dive. Well, there's the Righteous Glory. Knock up. There's a Boomerang Blade into Max. Max already at 50% HP. Catch comes in from the flank. He will get the knock up. Chilling Spike down on the Max. There's a nice Equalizer into the back line. But Sasin just going to go in. He kills Max right away. Sasin goes down. And Space and Coco doing some work, but they're in the center of four tanks right now. Nuclear still starting to attack. And Helper just gets bounced around before his Zonia Soul on the outside zoning. Nuclear takes the last hit with an auto. His teleport. All right, Soul was smart. He canceled his recall, but CJ have a lot of damage on these members. Jace does a lot of damage to either neutrals or turrets. Falling low, 6,000 health. All right, Trick just going to re-engage. There's the Randuin's active. Coco gets caught. Nuclear with the flank ult, and that'll be it for Jace. Now they're going to go back in. Soul gets a nice knockup on three members, and Nuclear just charging through right now. He's going to get a ton of auto attacks. Another twisted advance. Goodbye, says the crit. And here we go, Trick getting low, double kill, finished off by Nuclear. Now, will they push four men down? Long timers. Wow. Okay. Sasin actually moving up the mid lane, but they have not tended to this enormous minion wave in bottom side. Come on, Spenner, this is the time to be assertive. You couldn't pull off the turret die, but with 60 seconds death timers, surely you can win the game. Yeah, they should be able to help her with no TP to try and move that minion wave A forward. A million armor on Sol. Yes. A he might die amount. once. And here he comes. He's back from the grave. Oop. Literally. So was Helper for a second there. <laughs> Dead again. And Spenu, okay, couldn't do the assertive turret diving, but still won the game. Yeah, that was uh, another win for Spenu. They've won at least one game in their last three best of threes. Yes, it was against three subs. <laughs> Once he gets this, you know, four or five points in the Biocane Barrage, Corky, even with his long range presence, Ambition taking a really nice path. Yeah, coming in from behind. Soul is there. Soul is just getting hit by the Harpoon. Soul has to flash, but he's still going to die. Flash forward by Shy on the Overheat secures the kill. They're going to be happy enough, just putting damage onto the turret, it would seem. Wow, Soul coming back under the tower. They're just going to flash onto immediately. Chilling Smite down already. Rune Prison coming. Ambition is going to fall. Is Shy going to go down too? No, he has his flash. 
but he's got to get out. Catch on the way into the top lane. And they had good wards for that, actually. One in the river and one right by the wolves. So a very safe dive. Uh-oh, uh space. Actually going to get the kill there, but Secret will finish off the enemy AD carry. -in. Bit strange in how that actually came to be. As Catch finally in lane, hits it onto Shy. Rune Prison's a bound, you'd have to expect. Yeah, there's the Rune Prison. Cataclysm for that burst of damage. Another kill for Soul. CJ going to respond, of course, with a dragon on the opposite side. Nothing from Sasin. I mean, the jungle's not a happy place for Javan to be farming in the best of times, so really yeah. curious from Spender. Okay, well, he might be going for it now. Here we go. Misses the flag and drag. Does not miss the Cataclysm. Shy is still there. He's got no help. Has to drop the Equalizer and just die. Catch will get the kill, though. Hmm. Free third dragon, as far as we can tell so far. Unless they go for some crazy engagement. They are going to go for it, but are they going to be in time, actually? Looks like the smite going to be won by Ambition. Catch got immediately. Now they've got people on the flank, and they do just kill Catch on that side. The Kog'Maw's getting rolling. He's got Secret. Secret has to flash over the wall. Victor trying to kite back using that laser. And the Ghost, but can Coco catch up to him? Has to be worried about nuclear on the flank. Does back off, so Saucin saved. They can't hear you, Monte Cristo. Maybe if I shout loud enough. Well, they're gonna try and engage this, but CJ in a very good position. Nice knock up onto Coco. How much damage can he do? Mad Life out on the side, but Coco just trying to kite this one out. There's an equalizer. Doesn't hit anybody, actually. Shy coming in from the flank, but is he going to be too late to do much? He's on top of Saucin. Saucin's Chaos Storm not doing anything to that magic resist on Shy. They're gonna take him out, so it will be a three for one so far. Kog'Maw goes down, Mad Life the second casualty on the part of CJ Entis. Soul wants to catch Ambition, but he's gonna have to go under a turret to do it, and that is not going to be a chase that they can win. So yet another dragon to CJ. Or the five alarm fire going on right now, and nope. Oh, nice actually, Pulverize coming through, but Ambition just gonna answer immediately with an unburrow on top of the Equalizer. Soul is in the back line, Soul's going to not pick up a kill. Space is just doing way too much damage at this stage. And Soul not tanky enough to deal with that Kogba who just rips through the enemy team for a triple. Wow, I thought it was good when Soul got into the back, but after the Cataclysm was down, there was no way to contain space. But it's not going to be enough. Catch trying to get an angle. Now they should just fight this immediately. Catch gets hooked in. Secret already solo. There is the equalizer. Dragon resets. That's not an option any longer. And everybody gets pulverized. Thanks to the Emperor's Divide Space as the Chaos Storm swirling over him, but that's not going to do anything really. He's just going to heal right back off of this dragon. So it will be the fifth one for CJ. Methodical play here. If CJ didn't get control around Dragon or Baron, they had no other way to win the game, but they did exactly what they needed to. Got the only Baron of the game, got the fifth Dragon sack. Sassen's out of position, and this is going to be all square two games in. Yeah, Sheen and Azir going to make short work with fifth buff. Secret goes in. But, uh, nope, not really going to do much, even through that unbreakable will. Sasa, or Catch, rather, has to just flash out, afraid of that tremendous amount of damage, and that's it. CJ Entis takes home game number two, sending us into the third set. Just licking my lips at the <laughs> deliciousness you. of this team, Carl Monte Cristo. Honestly, he's getting excited when he should be shutting up. The blue buff. I'm not sure about this one. Here, little Converge is going to come down. Trick only level two, throws out the Time Winder. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Secret has to use Pulve, and he's going to headbutt the Trick over to catch. There's the exhaust. It's already out. Coco has the first right of response here. Space also coming in. Catch is down. And Secret actually picking up done? that kill. Look like it's it's done. Done. That was just a terrible idea. And they're going to miss the Winter's Bite, but they got one more auto for the stun, and Coco will pick it up with a stacked deck. Wow. If you're not feeling hyped up on power when you've got Mad Life <laughs> roaming with CC, when you've got the destiny to ensure that your mid goes There we first. go. There's the Parallel Conservative. It's just endless stuns. Soul doesn't have a chance in hell. And they did Shy that really badly. And still yes, did. they did. They did. <laughs> then force a TP, but even then, it's not that big of a play in the long run. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Exhaust out onto South End. There's a stun into a stun. Goodbye. Trick picks it up with the Time Winder. But honestly, whenever I see a Control Mage like Victor, like Ezreal in those situations, oh. I'm waiting for the cleanse. But when you got the Smite, Monte Cristo, nothing you can do. And there's the actual gold card on to catch. Now, Shy is over here. 
even though he's going to have to flash for it, they will just get some more targeted CC. Shy pops the Maelstrom, and that is a kill. Right under their noses. Without that blue buff. Oh, oh, actually nice smite it out. Nice, nicely done. Was able to pick up the burst. Shy now. Not really in trouble. He can't get out of this situation. Well, or can he? He doesn't have flash anymore, so he just kind of has to walk very slowly. But a missed Q and a missed Harpoon will force the flash. He has to go on to Sassen, but there's no follow-up. So he's going to fall, hand the red buff to Sassen, as I mean, it once was. Even that classic laning matchup isn't as good, because if you miss the fish, you used to have immense kill pressure. Don't have any more. Two teleports coming through. One of them, the uh, Destiny. Oh, and goodbye, nuclear. nuclear. No chance. CJ. So Spenner just clearing their way. Destiny's popped. Uh oh, here's the gate. Will it actually catch anybody? Soul is the target. Soul gets knocked around by the Archangel Smash. And that's it. Dies very quickly to the burst, but there's the arc. Oh man, the True Shot Barrage blocked by the Unbreakable. And now Trick just on the run. They do get Mad Life, but. Potentially work one into your build. So even the great AP Ezreal. Ah, uh, the answering teleport play though. Soul looking uh, for space there. He's going to get cooked. You are a cooked void worm. Barbecue. No need to get in that back line just yet. He'll be happy kiting with that massive front line that he has. There's oh. a great uh, pulverize, though. And there's the Equalizer coming in after it. Bad Life gets the Glacial Fisher down, but Soul starts to stack up. That passive from Braum saws him, gets some damage down, but they eventually take out the Alistair, and they're still pursuing. He'll use to catch Soul with a gold card, and now the Rumble will fall to the Focus Fire from the TF and the Kog'Maw. Now they have such a severe gold lead that it doesn't really matter to take a little bit. Of Secret actually going in. There's the TP. Mad Life on the outside. Catch already chunked out of this fight. They will try to use the equalizer. That's not going to be enough, but it will be with the true shot barrage. Not blocked by Mad Life this time, but there is a huge parallel convergence. And Shy is here now. Shy is in the choke, CCing the entire team. And so they get Mad Life, but they trade two and then three members for its soul nuclear and secret all falling that'll be a baron and it was an even more calculated fight monte Cristo. tier twos falling in sequence right now soul gets ulted and oh. just blown up echo ult to get out of that but here comes the coco from the flank the coco oh. will just wreck ezreal what a huge amount of damage on that pick a card with the lich bane that was pick a card lich bane stack deck into an instant <laughs> one shot wow impressive it's like, how do you like one-shotting people now, Sasin? Feels bad, man. <laughs> there we go, Coco. Just keep on moving through, zoning out with his utility and his crowd control. Coco's gonna get on, but <laughs> not much hope. His space is there to blow up catch him. CJ Antis will take the last two games quite convincingly to complete this series 2-1 after falling down to Spenu with their sub-roster in the first game. Yeah, there's the strategy of throwing in the goon squad to try and pick up a win didn't work. <laughs> a little bit tanky with a tear, maybe a Rylai's and Ellie Andrews. It's Cassiopeia, so she's back next. Hello, Pickaboo. What are you doing here? And that is a level one gank play. Goodbye, Kuzan. Oh, jeez. That was so... Brutal. I wasn't even watching for that, Papa Smithy. So where are they going to go now? Chaser just heads back to the enemy red buff. Okay. They think they have him bottled up. This is dangerous no from flash. Chaser. There's no flash, as you said. Here comes Score. He's going to uh -oh. check it. Chaser has to leave. He can't stay here. He may die anyway. He's going to try and uh, just phase dive over the wall. I'm not sure that's going to actually save him, as there are the Twin Fangs. The lockdown is here someday. Arcane smashes him into the ground for another kill. Okay. Turning to lane now. Uh oh. There's a parallel convergence. It's going to come through, but the phase dive doesn't activate it. Lantern will take him out. Chain misses his pulverize, and here come the TP. Scores already there on the rebound. Arrow has the uh, exhaust down onto him. He's going to have to flash for that, but they do pick up Captain Jack as they target him with the teleport. And Nar just unable to do anything. Chrono Break not going to save Chaser, but the oh. phase dive will. But the hook. Over the wall, Pickaboo following it up. Nogde low, Nogde gets a summoner heal. Uses that, Here they're gonna go. keep trying chasing. Here comes another hook, out of the black. Play over the wall, hook, hook, nope. Just flash from Pickaboo. Then what happens is you just die because Score and Pickaboo are never leaving your jungle. 
you'll never get experience. You're going to fall behind. Chaser is going to get bodied here. Exploding cast Ooh. comes. Hook misses. And score lanterns. Oh, man, there's the play. And Chaser gets out with the chrono break, but eats a twin fang. They also get the angle onto the turret. So can KT, looks like they just want to come in from behind. They're going to all in right here. And here comes the Petrifying Gaze. Huge Petrifying Gaze from the Flash. And now, Trace on the outside. Kuzong going to get hooked somehow. And here comes Arrow just waddling through the team fight, picking up kills. Trace is going to be caught up by Sunday and Pickaboo again. The CC train is just never ending. Another hook. And here we go. Twisted Advance play the works and Pickaboo. Grabs the kill. What a beautiful engage from Nogne with the flash petrifying gaze, and that's going to be a Baron. Yeah, they threw the textbook out for level one, but certainly textbook once they had this big advantage. They've already got an inhibitor in bottom, in top lane, so the bottom one's the fast to get. They're going to maybe try a desperate engage. No, but Nogne is just taking out with the lantern, and they've got nothing left. Score still on the side. They're just going to power on through this turret. There's the box, catches Kuzan. Another hook onto Che, gets another kill for Arrow, and they keep on moving forward. Jack will fall in the end. Double kill for Arrow, and they say, screw this inhibitor. We're just going straight for the Nexus. That's going to be it, a sub 30-minute victory for KT Rolster as they absolutely blast the Jin Air Green Wings in game one of this series. Lucky number 13 for KT Rolster. 13-0, 3-0 in Dragons. OK, all tied up in turrets. Very small sample size. We were so excited to see how Bard would warp the meta. All right, here comes Winged. He's on top of Arrow already with that phase dive. They're trying to zone him out with Parallel Convergence. Here comes the Teleport from the Maokai. Winged is in a world of trouble right now. Uh, Someday's just going to get the W down and smash him into the ground. And he actually gets the kill. Chase is, Chay is going to just barely live. No, almost no AP from Runes at level 7 with just an E. It's so much immediate power. Uh -oh. Speaking of power, GBM gets the flash on Burrow. Gravity field down, but he's going to die to the poison. And that'll be it. Winged and Che are there, but they are just a hair too late. Chaos Storm. In the jungle pop is Smithy. Um, so both of them. Okay, so Trace goes in. He doesn't get the stun. And then uh, you just watch this through. Just auto attacks. Not only has a null magic mantle, no other combat stats at all, and gets pounded. When they want. Just a passive mid laner with a big champion pool to get through the laning phase and consistently. Uh oh, and there we go. There's Bye. the any gank going down. Goodbye, Che. Arrow will snag the kill with the help. He doesn't even have to ult for that, just gets an auto in. The windows. Because uh, <laughs> I've watched two games now. Windows have been closed. Uh, Nogde actually just going to pop it. There's the cleanse, though. Nogde has to back off. He uses Summoner Heal just to get a little bit of speed, but they can't actually get the gank off. Again, there's just no initiation. Someday starting to turn this around now. Trace gets caught out of the side. Mega Nar comes through. He gets the stun on the score, and he gets the Nar into the wall. But how much hope is there? And he gets it on the wing. There's, oh, someday is he going to die? No, he's not. Flashes out. Kill on the pilot. Arrow, he's hungry for more. Flash on to Che. Uh, Arrow, maybe a little bit too far, but he does actually live. Credit to him for reinventing him, even at a uh, older age than we expect. KT. And there's the Simper Old going down. They are just going to all oh. flash forward. Look at that. Tibbers just bounced to the side with the Monsoon. There's not enough there to actually save Che. They get another turret. And Pickaboo gets a little bit of help out with his team. Here comes the TP. They're going to flank with the Maokai. Oh, boy, he's coming in. And here he goes. He's coming from the side. There's a big Timbers oh. on to GBM. Someday gets all over him. GBM actually flashed that, but can't get out. Pilot will be doomed. Nogne getting very low in the front line, but is he actually going to die? He will. The first kill of the series is picked up by Trace, but that is a rather Pyrrhic victory as GBM has spent this entire team fight running away from the mega tank that is someday, and they will chain this directly into a Baron. And then they got two Mikhails and he was fine. <laughs> okay, well, is this going to be the final push? Wing to the front line he is going to chrono break mysteriously back into the enemy team and die. And here comes GBM. He just gets annihilated by the damage. Looks like Pilot will dodge the petrifying gaze, but not to KT as they walk forward. Parallel Converge is not going to work right there. Wing looking for an opportunity. Here's the engage. Pilot finds himself twisted advanced on. Here comes Arrow. He's getting a lot of auto attacks. There just isn't any engage. They get a Gnar ultimate, but it's just too late. There's no follow-up damage. 
And now Nagde will take out Nar. Just gonna zone everybody inside of the base. No one can actually get out of the fountain right now, so a clean victory. And KT will end a best of three, only allowing Jin Air a single kill.